traveling through There's a world of Hello! I'm at Westgate and the idea is to do the next two sections of the Weirdale Way to Stanhope via Rukop. But uh, getting here was pretty horrendous. The roads weren't very clever and it looks like it's going to start snowing. So we've got a lot of snow around at the moment. Uh, I'll see if we can get it behind, behind me there. So we're not exactly 100% sure how far we're going to get on this walk. Depends on what happens. But uh, I got a new hat. Northern Wayfarer. Thanks to my sister. Thank you. And, uh, eat your hearts out. Um, Trevor Nath. Hat beats uh, t-shirts. Haha. <laughs> right. We'll uh, get started. Uh, I'm not sure if the camera's going to have to go in this box or not because there's like flakes of snow coming down now, but we'll see what happens. Well, we'll give it a go. Okay, we're leaving Westgate now, and it is freezing. It's so cold that wind just cuts you in half. Luckily, it's to the back of us, but uh, just have a quick look at this place before we leave. Nice. <laughs> uh, so let's get going. Okay, behind me is Warden Hill Farm. It was here that the Weirdale chest was found, containing documents from 1579 to 1660, related to a dispute between the landlord, Sir Arthur Heselrig, or Heselridge, I'm not sure how you pronounce that, and uh, his tenants, and uh, tenants won. Apparently he wanted to evict them and they complained and they won their case. And the documents of the chest remember rightfully I think are now on Palace Green, part of Durham University, next to the cathedral in Durham. We've got a real strong blizzard going on over there. We're just catching the tail end where we are now. It looks really bad down the bottom. See how I get turned around. Over there is a real special place. I'm going to have to turn the camera around, I'm afraid. Yeah, it's uh, really impressive. I want to go there one day and do a separate video for it. Um, there's a guy called Mark Brim Photo. He hasn't got many subscribers. Uh, it would be a good idea if people went and checked him out. He uh, does really good photography and stuff. So, well worth looking up his channel. I'll put a link below. But uh, if Mark, if you're watching this, uh, give me a bell because I would like to go to this place with you because you've got a good eye with the camera and this place is a little bit special. But we'll do a separate video on it. Okay, that was a little bit wild. It's really strong winds, but uh, we're sheltered by this, these trees behind me at the moment. But uh, just being hit with hailstone and snow and sleet, it's uh, pretty wild. We lost track, we uh, lost the, the path. There was no way mark us from the fob. But we're now back on path. Across that sty over there. This should be quite easy now, hopefully. But, uh, really nice. Watch. So we still get a bit of sunshine in between the hailstorms and the snow. So 
So I'll put a link below about that uh, place called um, the West Rig. I was being hit by hailstorm when I was talking before. So Mark Brim Photo, contact me. We'll, uh, we'll arrange something to go there because it, uh, it's really spectacular. I'll put a link below of the place so once done some drone footage, which is really good. Right, um, onwards and upwards by the looks of it. We ended up that way, a place called Weather Hill, and then we dropped down to Rookhope. Wow, it's windy! <laughs> uh, looks like there's another weather front coming in on us, so we better hurry up in the blue skies. This is the top of uh, Weather Hill, so Weather Hill Top. Lord of the Rings reference Weather Top. <laughs> and we are headed over there to Rookhop. And then once we get there, we double back on ourselves across down the bottom to Eastgate. More on that later. It's very, very windy. <laughs> We're following the old railway line at the moment, the root cup. But the views here are stunning, so I'll stop to show you the views. Look at these. <laughs> so I keep out the wind a little bit to talk to it. <laughs> well, that's on the last video. Are you local? Well, <laughs> we found the shop. <laughs> I'll go for a closer look. Aye, aye. What is it? You tell me, that's not meant to be there. Now, now, what's all this shouting? We'll have new troubles here. <laughs> there it is. I told you this place was just out of like the need of gentlemen. <laughs> We're going to be doing those jokes all the way. <laughs> Wait again now. That was easy. Couldn't make it up, could you? Oh, aye. Well, you'd love to go, Mr. Wint. <laughs> I'm afraid it will, Mr. Kidd. Shouldn't think it would be a problem. I'm sure the locals are friendly enough. It's been snowing again. We've come to the Rook Hope Inn pub, but it's closed. So <laughs> that idea went out the window. <laughs> but there's a bunkhouse here, if anybody's doing it a uh, free section. And it's part of the coast to coast here as well. Now, Rook Hope was famous for the Rook Hope Ride poem. It's a border tale about a raid in 1569 by the Tyndale Reavers. Apparently, the local men were away on the the North Uprising against Elizabeth I 
uh, they wanted to replace Elizabeth with the Catholic Mary Queen of Scots so they were all away and uh, the Tyndale Reavers decided to take advantage of the situation came here and stole the, the cattle so uh, we're going to try and find somewhere to have a bit of uh, lunch which is out of the snow uh, it's not a lot of snow, it's just flurries that's us fed and watered uh, we took shelter in the Rook Hope bus stop <laughs> 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 Now apparently, Rookhope has the lowest force of gravity in the North Pennines and because of that, in 1960 and 1961, Durham University drilled a borehole that's 800 metres deep called the Rookhope Borehole and it should be somewhere along here <laughs> well, when we find it, I'll let you know <laughs> if we find it but at the moment we've got a, a little break in the snow but you can see those clouds over there they're just laden with snow and we're going to go into that it's a bit strange uh, this part of the, the walk because you've got to double back on yourself now originally according to the map it went over the top of the hills and then dropped down into Rookhope but they seem to have changed the way um, the way markers led us along where the Pennine Journey is because the Pennine Journey and where they were here they intermix quite a bit so um, we have to double back on the track that we came on and then we take a detour off and then head down towards Eastgate so let's go and see if we can try and find this Rookhoop Borehole so we found the borehole this is the Rookhope borehole, drilled in 1960-1961, uh, 800 meters deep. It's drilled by Durham University, probably to experiment on why this part of the Pennines has such a low force of gravity. The Weirdale Way comes along the top, it goes both directions because you've got to double back on yourself. So, not really much to see to be honest. <laughs> Yeah, a little bit disappointing. <laughs> but Nick's gonna climb down there. <laughs> investigate. So, next stop is Eastgate, and I think we passed a mine on the way, so looking forward to seeing the mine.